Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone is doing well today. Today we are taking a look at the moles and reactions chem quest. So I did uh, write a few important conversions that we need to remember for our mole conversions. Remember one mole is equal to the mass in the periodic table in grams. One mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. So we start off by looking at the, re the combustion for propane. We're going to be using this balanced reactions to answer the first five questions. So it leads us through a little bit of information, and then we get down to the important part, this bolded part. This bolded part tells us that the moles of each substance in the chemical equation is equal to the coefficients. This is what we call the mole ratio. What I want everyone to do right now is write on the top of their ChemQuest this. Uh, this is super important. I want it to be the first thing that you guys see when you look at this packet because this is how we're going to be solving most of these reactions. We're going to be using the mole ratio. Remember, the mole ratio, the coefficients, equal the number of moles. That easy. So when we're looking at this reaction right here, there's no coefficient here. Remember, it's really a 1. So there's 1 mole of propane, 5 moles of oxygen, 3 moles of carbon dioxide, and 4 moles of water. The coefficients tell us the number of moles. So we can use this to do uh, some mole to mole conversions. Uh, like I said earlier, questions 1 through 5, we're going to be using the combustion of propane. Remember, propane's formula is C3H8. When we are doing these conversions, uh, I'd like it if we would round to two decimal places. So the first question, it's asking us how many moles of water we have. Uh, our water produced when we have 1.45 moles of propane, which formula is C3H8. Um, it's worth mentioning that we're already in moles, and remember, once you're in moles, you can convert to anything, even more moles. Uh, so we use these coefficients to be able to convert to moles. So remember, in this formula, so it's saying moles of propane and moles of water. So we know in this problem, we need one mole of propane and if it reacts with five moles of oxygen, it's going to form three moles of carbon dioxide and four moles of water. So for every one mole of propane we have, if we have this reaction, we can make four moles of water. So we need to show this in this conversion to be able to convert to water. So I know it sounds complicated, but we really just use the same steps we've always been using for dimensional analysis. So remember, when we want our units to cancel, we put them on the bottom. So that means we need to put moles of propane, moles of C3, H8 in the denominator. Remember, we're converting to moles of water. So that means in the numerator, we're going to put moles of water. Now, now we need to use what we just learned about the mole ratio, that the coefficients equal the number of moles, to plug in our values. So we look at the moles of propane. The coefficient is equal to the moles, 1. So we put a 1 next to moles of propane. We do the same thing for water. We look up here, there's 4, the coefficient is a 4, that tells us 4 moles of water. So, we put a 4. When we solve this, we uh, are able to get 5.80 moles of H2O. Because remember, our moles of propane cancelled, and we were left with moles of H2O. Next. Next, now we're going to take the answer that we just got, 5.80 moles of water, and now we're going to convert to molecules. That's why we wrote these conversions up top so we could remember them. Remember, one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms or molecules. So let's give it a go. So we start by writing our 5.80 moles of water, and we set up our T around it. Next, we need to figure out where do we put our moles if we want them to cancel. We put them in the denominator, because anything divided by itself is 1. Next, on the top, because we're in moles, we can convert to anything. We can either convert to grams or molecules. This problem is asking us to convert to molecules. So now in the numerator, we're going to have molecules of H2O. Now, we use our conversions. Remember, we're going to use the bottom conversion because we have moles and molecules in that conversion. Moles and molecules in our problem. So we put a 1 next to mole. And then we put the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd next to molecules. Remember, our scientific notation needs to go inside parentheses. When you type this into your calculator, you should be able to get 3.49 times 10 to the 24th molecules of water. So then next, question two. Question two, uh, you can model the steps that I did in 1A with the mole ratio to, to uh, be able to find the moles of water that are produced. 
So next in question three. So I do want to talk about question three. So why is this statement false? If 10 grams of propane burn, then you'll need 50 grams of oxygen. So it seems correct when you read it because you, you have a 1 to 5 ratio of propane to oxygen. And this is still a 1 to, sorry, 10 grams to 50 grams is still a 1 to 5 ratio because we can reduce that by 10, a factor of 10 on the numerator and the denominator. So that would still be a 1 to 5 ratio. However, you need to focus on the language. Uh, this problem uses the word grams. Remember, look what we wrote on the top of our paper. We wrote that the mole ratio is the coefficients equal the number of moles. We didn't call it the gram ratio. We didn't say that the grams of the grams equals the coefficients. No, we said the moles equal the coefficients. So this is wrong because the coefficients equal moles not grams. So next, we can move on to question four. So question four, again, is really similar to 1a and b. So you should be able to model question 4a and b off of these steps. Remember in part b to calculate the grams, not the molecules. So next, question... Oh, next to the, I also do recommend at the top of this page rewriting the combustion of propane. That way it's easy for you to refer to when you are solving these problems. So question five. So question five is telling us that we have 410 grams of propane and we want to know how many grams of oxygen are required to burn it. So the steps are outlined for us in A, B, and C. So the first thing we need to do is find the number of moles of propane that we have and convert that to moles. So the reason why we need to convert that to moles is because we can't use the mole ratio until our units are in moles. Remember, it's called the mole ratio, not the gram ratio. So we start by setting up our T. 410, it's a terrible 410, 410 grams of propane. Oh, it's blurry. There we go. 410 grams of propane. Now we start our conversion. Remember, if we want to cancel out our grams of propane, we put them in the denominator. Then uh, we can put our moles in the numerator. Uh, remember you guys wrote some conversions on the front? We're going to be using these conversions for a lot of these problems. Remember one mole is equal to the mass on the periodic table. So we can put a one next to the mole and then we need to find the grams of C3H8 from our periodic table. Remember the grams of C3H8 will equal the mass of carbon, 12 times 3, plus, because it's 3 times 3 because there's 3 carbons, plus the mass of hydrogen, 1 times 8, because there's 8 hydrogens. That ends up equaling 44 grams. We can now plug the 44 into our T. When we solve this, we find that the answer, we have 9.32 moles of propane. So then next part B. Part B is telling us to find the moles of oxygen given from the moles of propane. So to do this we need to use the mole ratio because remember the moles of propane and the moles of oxygen they're related by the coefficients. They're equal to the coefficients up here. We have one mole of propane for every five moles of oxygen. So we need to use that mole ratio to convert. So we start with the moles of propane, 9.32 moles of propane, C3H8. We set up our T around it. If we want our moles of propane to cancel, we put them on the bottom. Remember, once we're in moles, we can convert to any unit, more, even more moles, moles of anything that's in the reaction. So that means on the top, we can put our moles of oxygen. We then refer back to the coefficients to find the number of moles. So we have one mole of propane, five moles of oxygen. So we put a five next to the moles of oxygen. We put a one next to the moles of propane. Once we solve this, we find that there are 46.60 moles of O2 because our moles of propane have already canceled. So now the last step. The last step wants us to find grams of oxygen. 
Remember, we just found moles of oxygen, and once we're in moles of oxygen, we can convert to any unit. So we're going to take our moles of oxygen, 46.60 moles of O2. We set up our T around it. If we want our moles of O2 to cancel, we put them on the bottom in the numerator. Then once we're in moles, we can convert to anything. What we're converting to goes on the top, grams of O2. Next, we use our periodic table to find the mass of O2. Remember guys, oxygen has a mass of 16. There are two of them. So then the overall mass is 32 grams. So that means we put a 32 next to the grams, and then we put a 1 next to the mole. Once you solve this, the exact answer you get is 1,491.20 grams of O2. So now, guys, what you need to do to solve uh, the last problem, so it's the same steps that we did through 5A, B, and C. You just need to re relate it to the new reaction. So guys, like always, when you're solving this problem, uh, if you get stuck, write down your question. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and I'll see you next class. Bye.